By whatever means, they were determined to get back to check their homes and collect their belongings. Many in Moorland had been forced out in the middle of the night on Thursday, the floods making it no longer safe to stay. We asked Ian Turner to take a camera with him. He lives on the outskirts of the village, but his parents' house is right in the middle and now underwater. Well, to get through, it's probably waist high on me, but um, my parents live just uh, the other side of the deepest bit. It's probably about a metre deep in their house. So I've just been going through to just get the last of their belongings. It's heartbreaking. I mean, we moved as much as we possibly could upstairs um, a few days before, but to see belongings and stuff floating around and the smell of stagnant water, it's, um, it's heartbreaking. Well, we could do, yes. Some had chosen to stay an extra night, like Buttons and Michael Price and their two pet cats. They had wanted to stick it out, but it's become impossible. And it just keeps rising. Now streaming into houses many thought would never flood. It was only about 24 hours ago that the Withericks kindly invited us in here for a cup of tea. At that point, there was no water. But now you wander around and you can feel the floorboards have lifted from the ground underneath the water. It is incredible just how quickly this water's come in. Amanti and Stuart have spent the day saving what they can. We left it last night, didn't we? And it was just two inches deep. And when I came this morning, I arrived first. It was this. So overnight, it's got to this, look. That's, a, that's horrific. It's, it's on that list of bereavements and divorce and all that other stuff. It's uh, you know, losing a house to flood or fire. It rates amongst the... Uh, and there's, there's two ways of doing it. You can either wrap yourself up in it and get emotionally sort of really very badly involved or you just try and take a step away from it and go right in four months time hopefully hopefully four months time this will have gone and we can start sorting our eyes out again the uncertainty remains as to just how much higher the water will go and how far it will spread it's clear many know they'll be out of their homes for some time rhiannon mills sky news at moorland in somerset